Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? Happy Thursday and happy first day of fall. It's the day the first day of fall. It is. Wow. Aren't you excited? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fall has fallen. Hmm. It's a great time and it's a good time for meatloaf. We're going to do this quick and easy way tonight, folks. We're going to fry this meatloaf on top of the stuff. I know y'all seen us do that before. Mama, tell us what you got over here. This yes, is yes. some ground chuck. This is a meatloaf seasoning pack. All that's going in. All that, this is just no, a... No, that. This is just a, why do we get in our save a lot? And I'm just going to crumble up some bread in it to hold it together. Like my mom did. Yeah. And this is just some delicious yellow onion. Let me tell you folks, I'm a little spoiled. Been having them sweet Texas onions. They so mild, sweet, and delicious. I got this onion out and I told mama, I said, oh my goodness, it's back to real onions. That's a real onion. This one, as soon as she laid it on the cutting board, it smelled like onion. And boy, is it a real yellow onion. But I like yellow onion in meatloaf for that reason. You get that oniony flavor. There's no mistaking it is their mama. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pour a little bit of this tomato sauce so that bread will start softening. Yeah. It'll be moist, that's for sure. Good moist meatloaf tonight. Mama makes the best meatloaf, no matter how we make it. If we make it in the micro pro grill, you know, in the micro pro grill, we can make a whole meatloaf in 20 minutes. 25 if we're worried about it, but I ain't never worried about it at 20 because it's done. I temp it and it's done. But Mama will put it back in there for five more minutes and let the topping get good and browned. And I usually make a Creole topping. Tonight, we're not doing that. We're just using ketchup topping. Ketchup topping tonight because that's an, another profile. You know, with meatloaf, people say, I don't like meatloaf. I swear you ain't had the right one. Um, you can do so much with meatloaf. You're just talking about a base. If, unless you just don't like hamburger meat cooked, I don't see why everybody don't like a meatloaf, whether it's a taco meatloaf, whether it's an Italian flavored meatloaf. If you like spaghetti sauce, make it into an Italian flavored meatloaf. If you like tacos, make it into a taco meatloaf. It's delicious. That's the reason this is one of our versions, but we have several versions. We could literally have meatloaf every night and never have it the same taste. And Mama, don't you get over here this knife? Sometimes you like to stick your little fingers right where I'm cutting or scraping. I'm gonna stick here, buddy. I don't know if you will or not. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So that was a whole medium yellow onion. Can y'all see the pot? So this is, um, was it a pound, Mama? Yeah, I thought it was maybe higher. Well, thank you for critiquing my work in front of my friends, Mama. Well, I wanted to make sure you had it. Oh, if you make it, you seen that little tiny onion. She found it. You got to watch her. She watching you. It wouldn't get done. Oh, it would get done. Not with the rest of it. How much meat, how much meat did you put in that loaf? Uh, there's just hair over a pound. Hair over a pound. So a pound and a hair. And a whole yawa medium onion, a whole pack of meatloaf seasoning, two country eggs, but you can use any kind of egg. And that's going to bind it to make it stick together. The bread will too. Need a little bit more bread to crumble that? I think we do. Get some of that whole wheat over there. We need all that. Oh, this is. You got another loaf? Oh, there's our loaf that we're eating on. This is the extra. Oh, okay. Hand me that other and I'll just crumble it all in here. It needs it. This will bind it to, it stretches it. So if you're feeding a family of 12, put you about five or six good slices of, of uh, bread in there. You'll make at least another patty or two. Or a, it'll add another two portions to your um, loaf. As I told people, Mommy put it in our hamburgers. I thought it's supposed to be and it was good. Uh -huh. But she just done it to... Stretch. Stretch it. <laughs> I love good little hacks like that. Someone told a story about their mother only ate the back of the chicken. She only wanted the backbone. That's my mommy only ate the back. Well, that was probably because she had saved, eight kids. Saved the good for all the kids. Eight kids, and she was like, the back tastes great to me. Uh, 
Mamas do that a lot of times. A lot of times. This is gonna be delicious. This is one of my favorite meals. Y'all know I have plenty of favorite meals. I love pork chops, I love roast. But meatloaf is just a comfort food to me. I love a good meatloaf, and I can tell you right now, I'm not even talking to Mama about it. We didn't even have a discussion. We didn't even bring it up. All she said she was doing was meatloaf. So I know she's going back there to get a sweet peas. We're going to have mashed potatoes. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. What do you got in your hand, Mama? Peas and potatoes. Oh, well, how did I guess that? I don't know. Experience. Experience is what that is. Mama, do you put any salt and pepper in this? Uh, with the, well, I'll get it straight in a minute. The package, I don't, because it has all the spices and salt and pepper and stuff in it. All right. You reckon that's going to hold it together? It's awful. It's, it's loose. I think that tomatoes used to, the hamburger was good and tender, too. Mm -hmm. What, do you want me to put some crackers or something in it? If you don't think it's good, I think it'll hold together, Mom. Yeah, it's got two eggs and three or four loaves of bread in it. <laughs> If it not, we'll eat scrambled. We'll eat scrambled meatloaf. We'll eat scrambled meatloaf. I ain't against that. But now you can add some crackers to it if you want. Um, I think we have enough to fill our bread in it. Here's your potatoes. You can peel four or five potatoes. This is sweet peas, and they're very complicated to make. You may not even want to try them. They're so hard. Because all you got to do with these is put them in a saucepan and put you a little bit of butter in them. And you've got delicious Texas and peas. Um, I heard of a recipe the other day called cheese, peas and cheese. And I looked online, there's some recipes on there for it. Um, but now, we don't need any extra cheese tonight, but we will take the peas and butter. That's what we always, that's our traditional meal is peas and butter. And we just take them again, put it in a saucepan, and put a tablespoon of butter in it. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. Absolutely. Mama says scrumptiousness. Hey, welcome back. These are Yukon goats. And we're not cooking them. This, are these Yukons? Some of them are, and some of them are just regular. Kidding. We're not cooking them because we're fancy like that. We're cooking them because that's what Mama raised, and we we don't want them to rot. So, my, to be honest with you, Yukon goats, I like them best baked. Um, mashed potatoes are okay with them, but they are so good baked. When I made those twice baked potatoes the other night, those were with Yukon goats, and they were so much better to me the second night than even they was the first night. Love Yukon goats. They taste like, they're smooth like velvet and they taste so good. We're not gonna make any because we don't need any leftovers because then we just have to recreate them into something else. And I don't know what we're having tomorrow night. Mama, are you out tomorrow night? Are you? I don't know yet. I'll tell you something, it's supposed to go on tomorrow night. I hope we still get to do is y'all sweet tea is going to let me know if I can show you all what's in this box in here. You know, I don't like having surprises. I never like surprises. And they've sent a big old box in here. They have got a big box. And he texts me the day before I got the box. He said, don't open this. We're going to open it on air. I'll let you know when. Patients and me have had trouble not looking in the box. I will tell you. Because I like to see what did they send. Because whatever they sent in there, you're all going to be able to go to their website and register, and they're going to send you the same thing. I think is what he said. I don't have all the details, but I'll get them. So just know that probably tomorrow night we're going to be doing this y'all sweet tea giveaway thing. I don't even know what's in the box. So how can I share? Oh, this is a Yukon Go. Look at that. So I can't share it with y'all. And I'm playing by the rules. I normally do. I'm a rule follower for the most part. And uh, I feel like... Sometimes you let the cat out of the box. 
Oh, I tell stuff sometimes up to y'all. But it's just you all. I ain't like spreading it to the world. It's just us, me and Mama, and you all. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'm anxious to see. So. I'm going to check my email on a minute. I'm bad about not checking my email. Uh, he sent it. He'll tell me. So let's just get these potatoes going here. Mama, how many you want? 42? Oh, that's five, I guess. They're not very good. Well, these were pretty good size, but now they're friends down in here. I'm having to dig to the bottom of the bag. That little bit green won't hurt. Yeah, I cut that off. Sunburn. Potatoes is supposed to be. Sunburned potatoes, she said. The little bit of cream won't hurt if you cut it off. <laughs> Mama would just, you know, didn't think I was gone. Let's see, just cut that green off. And that's just me talking. I don't know. I'm not a potato expert. I just know we've cut it off my whole life. So far, there's no problem. Oh, I always cut it off because I'm always told whether it's correct or not, it could be poison. Uh, it's, it puts off a gas, and there was a family that died from potatoes. They had a lot of potatoes piled up in their basement, and they turned green and sprouted, and they put off a gas. And I've already heard that, but I'm talking about one or two little things here. Just do you, because I'm no potato expert. <clears throat> don't be following me around the potato patch, because I don't know. Some of these, Mama, are so small, I think we ought to just uh, wash them. Well, cook them whole, yeah. And cook them whole, boil them, and that would be so good. Some good bull potatoes. Love bull potatoes. I could live on bull potatoes and bull chicken. I got a silly bull and I figured it got meat left. Are you already doing the meat left, Mama? She don't want y'all to see, Mama. You've got me over here doing potatoes. You slipped over there and patted them out and didn't show us. I'll show you right now. She does that all the time. I, you just wouldn't get to see nothing if it wasn't for me. Because she'd come on and have it fixed and just show you what I did back yesterday or, or earlier. You would, she would never, she just don't do that. You got I've got whatever you tell me here. Mama, I can't believe you started without us. I thought you was just over there stirring. There's one here. Let me take it, please. You gonna share with us or not? She'll start it, and she'll start before I even get the camera. I said, Mama, you gonna wait and show them that? They don't want to see me mix up cornbread again. They don't want to see these up and these these um, meatloaf hey, patties. Then you all jump on me and say, John, let us see Mama cooking. Well, you <laughs> can catch her. I'm going to have to get somebody to just do one of those candy cameras, follow her around. She's like trying to film a jackrabbit. Bouncing around. This is all I've done. <laughs> this is all I've done. I fixed the whole meal. <laughs> I Tell them about it, Mama. You done done it without them. Tell them what you did. All I did is what we mixed up. I just made them in patties. What kind of oil do you use? Uh, vegetable oil. Two, four, six, eight. So there's eight in here. There's probably two more over there. Two more in the bowl ain't been made? Yeah. Probably about two more. Mm -hmm. And I'm just frying them slow. That way so the onions will uh, get done in them. Okay, Mama, we'll let you get by with it today. She really didn't want you to see. Look well, what it was. She's a secret cook. Is that what it was, Mama? Yeah. Secret, secret. <laughs> oh. You crack us up, Mama. Is this all the potatoes you want us to have? Yeah. That's this is all she's gonna let you have, folks. She's strict. She's strict. 
I believe when she grew up in the Great Depression. I did grow up in the Depression. I'm not that old. <laughs> When she grew up in the Great Depression, they wouldn't let her have over two or three guys at a time. Yeah. How'd you get through the Great Depression, Mom? I didn't live in the Great Depression. Ooh. You went here in World War II? Nope. I was here in 48. Oh. Look at that, all them taters. Taters, taters, look at that. Those are going to get rinsed off and then boiled. Rinse them and boil them. Is this a potato kettle? Yeah. I bet it'll be a half a kettle full. What do y'all think? Yeah, a whole kettle. There's just a Yukon Go one in there, I believe. Look, the rest of those are just perennial Irish potatoes. Yeah, see, so you can pick them out. Look at the Yukon Go two piece, two or three pieces in there. Mama said that. Look, watch her, watch her. She got them. She's not, she didn't want you to see her secret pea recipe. I'm not a secret pea recipe. <laughs> Don't show them that secret recipe, Mama. They'll all be fixing them like that. Let me have those and I'll get them in the kitchen. Boy, they're more yellow They are, not they? So, in the secret pea recipe, I'll tell you, so I don't care. I'll share it with you. I have to go get some butter for you. In the secret pea recipe, it gets a shake, shake of salt. And that wasn't much salt because it wasn't coming out too good. And it gets a little bit of butter. Butter makes it better. I think I'll have to go out. There's not a bit of Mom, there's enough butter here. For all the peas we could eat in a year. You think you're gonna stop it over there? Alright, so we'll leave that butter out so we can soften and uh, the rest of this one too. Me and Mama's having fun tonight. This is the way it is around here. We just pick at each other and eat and have a good time and cook. You all know us by now, and if you're new, you'll get to know us. So, on the butter, you all know there's little to to do's for tablespoons. I'm going to put about a tablespoon and a half. I want them good and buttery because they don't have to be floating. And that's it. That's the recipe, folks. That's Mama's secret pea recipe. Canned peas, a dash dash of salt, and a big old dollop of butter, about a table and a half. And that's it. That's all she wants on. Um, and the, the meatloaf thing we use is just a seasoning pack. And uh, it just comes from our store. Our said a lot. What you guys up to? What y'all eating? Folks, that's supper in a nutshell tonight. That's all we're having. So, and I'm going to take him over if I can catch her. Before she pours the rest on. So right now, all she's doing is browning that meatloaf. And when she gets ready to add the rest of this, I'm going to run over there and grab her. So y'all can see. This is so super simple. It's like a hamburger patty on the stove. It doesn't fry hard because you got all that in there and don't snug your house up like plain old hamburger. But um, she's just going to brown it on both sides, turn it, get it good and brown. Once it's done, completely done, then you put your tomato sauce over it. Mm -mm -mm. Mama, am I mixing up tomato sauce or are you just going to pour it? Yeah, I'll have to mix it up. So I'm going to use this tomato sauce in this jar. I'm going to see if she's got enough in here. And I'm going to put a little pepper in it. This is just table brine. Just table black pepper and a little bit of salt. No brown sugar tonight. No onions. 
This isn't Creole. This is just your tomato sauce. And um, we're going to put a little ketchup over it. But I'm just putting a little bit of salt and pepper in this here tomato juice. Half of it was homemade. And she had poured a little bit of this out in the, in the meatloaf mix. And the rest of it fit in here. And that's what we're going with. That right there is it, folks. And now I'm just going to give this a shake shake. You want any sugar in this? You don't want to brown sugar in this, do you? No. She's strict about that. If you get Creole, you get the brown sugar. If you don't, do the onions and the celery. She don't want the brown sugar. So that's next step good. Y'all has got candy jars. They've got shirts. And look at Mama's shirt. I've got a pretty shirt. Look at the back of that. That says, y'all, walking on sunshine. The front of it says, y'all, it says established 19, or 2015. Ain't no 19 to it. All right, I got this mixed up. I got these peas ready. I put the peas on a little later. I mean, it's about ready to put the peas on. And how much ketchup? I didn't put no ketchup in here. You want ketchup in here, too? No, we'll just pour it <coughs> over the burger first. <coughs> over the meatloaf patties. Yeah. Turn your stove light on so we can see when we come over. Lights, camera. Action. Have you ever seen the baby come of uh, carrying on on a Thursday night? You have to to keep yourself going. <laughs> Mama said you have to to keep yourself a going. Uh -huh. You think we have to act a fool, Mama? Yeah. Life would be with me, Mama. Well, it ain't going to get dull around here. Can y'all see that beautiful browned meatloaf for fries? Well, these two is what I put in the ice. Yeah, we can tell. They was talking about them, Mama. I heard people say, now some of them don't look good and nice. Some of them looks bad, don't some they? Of them, what happened was they, they shrink down a little bit, make room for some more. It's like brine sausage. And the, the potatoes, they ain't. You're going to have to turn them up a little bit, Mama. They're up. They're up. It just takes a while for them to get warm. They're starting to smoke. It won't take long. And these here, I'm going to turn these up just to her so they'll boil. Mm -hmm. This just got salt and pepper in it. We have to wait till these two get Dunner. Dunner? Dunner, dunner, dunner. Dunner? Dunner? I know they ain't done. Let's see what we got here. We are selling our way up to 75. Mm -hmm. It ain't here, though. That's hotter over there, Mom. It's still that climbing, though. The one I took out of the middle to put that one in. It's climbing higher. Mm -hmm. What does it have to get to? 165. 165? 165? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. We're going to be here a minute. Yeah. Once it gets over 100, it'll go fast. It's a climber. It's a climber. <laughs> Y'all ever made meatloaf like this? <clears throat> it's one of our favorite ways. Especially when it's hot outside. It costs. You can't beat it for heat. Brown it on top of the stove. Yeah, quick. Are you talking to me or are you No, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Inside your head. Yeah. We ain't out. We ain't in there, Mama. We can yeah. bring the conversation outside. I said I stay by myself a lot, so it's what you start doing when you're by yourself talking to yourself. <laughs> I 
I said I had to have some. Somebody said, do you talk to yourself? I've seen this little cartoon thing. They said, yeah, sometimes I have to have expert advice, so I talk to myself. So I use that line. <laughs> I've seen one said, I'm self-employed, so if you see me talking to myself, I'm not really talking to myself, I'm in a staff meeting. Oh, a staff meeting. I like that too. I think you. Well, if you ain't got nothing to say, you're going to have to sign it. I don't think so. You don't? Mm -hmm. What do you want to drink, Mama? Water, did you say? I'm proud of you. I don't think I said water. What do you want? Okay. Water? Yeah, I could drink water. Let's say, we got peas and potatoes. Peas and potatoes means low starch. Have y'all ever made meatloaf like this? Have y'all already fried it on the stove? It's a good way to do it, especially in the summertime, but it's tasty. And you talk about a meatloaf sandwich, the hard work's already done. It's already sliced and ready to go for you. Can't beat that deal. You can't beat that with a stick, as they say. <laughs> Ain't that too good of a job of it, Mama? I know it. I'm trying to get you something to drink. They always say, you don't let Mama cook. Don't let Mama cook? That's what they say. I cook. You just don't talk. I just don't talk. I'm going to film you when you don't know it and I don't hear you really talking. They'll be surprised how much talking you do, Mama. Oh. They'll say, boy, she does talk. Walter. Oh, yeah. She's a blabber now. Are they getting hot? They're getting hot. Pimp them again. Yeah, I think that's right. You turned them all over, I'm going to put the ketchup on them? Not yet. I'm on them. Did you turn your heat up? No, I don't want it. So the peas are boiling. Potatoes are boiling. Look at that. Good old peas. Potatoes are boiling. And the burgers are just lounging. Lounging. They're not doing nothing too quick. Oh, I don't want them not done in the middle and the... How high are they now? 85. They're and they got to get to 100 and something? Mm -hmm. It's taking them a minute. Is your stove working? Oh, yeah. You see, I'm fine. I don't like this stove for that reason. You either are on scald or nothing. It's got to be on high high. It has to be on high high. High high, high high. I don't want it on high high. You have put me on high high. You mean thanks? Just because you like the hamburgers, I mean the. Make those patties real brown, don't mean I don't want them bump brown. Oh, they won't burn. Potatoes are about halfway there. The peas, they're just doing their thing. Boy, them fingers is tough if you're cut, covering hot meat with them. Somebody's overcrowded. <laughs> I wasn't afraid no man. It wasn't me. I ain't even been in this portion of the presentation. See, that's getting too brown when you turned it up. up Mama, up. you turned it down since then. You're going to have them to be all night. I was telling them how fast and easy this was. 
Really, about 15 minutes you can have these done. This is like a hamburger, about eight minutes on each side. Should be plenty. Nah, I'm going to put the ketchup on now. Let it be sitting, because it's... I'm going to put the ketchup on you too, Mama. So you just put a little bit of ketchup on them. I just twist a little bit on each one. Just like that. You'll see it start to lay down on there. This is just like your meatloaf, folks. Just think of these as little tiny meatloafs. That needs another drop, I can tell. So does that one. Now, this potion. You can try in a little bit of your grease off. That ketchup will lay down on there. Here, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm sure, Mom. I need a spoon to quick. But I'm going to be going. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I don't like the looks of it, I like to smooth that ketchup down. I want it to look like it's meant to be. Uh-huh. Now, there you go. I don't think much grease here. Now, there's a little. Excuse me, get some more. You don't need a pot hood for this handle. No, I hold a skillet, though. I Not me, hold, Mom. I can't hold it like you do. I've got about a, a little grease. I got a little. Let's stamp them. I'm ready to see. We're climbing toward the mark now. We're getting there. What'd you tell me? 165. I'm still amazed. That's the same time. Um, you don't see your I like mine medium well. Mama's a well done gal. So now you take this sauce here. Once you drain off a dab of grease, you just sort of put it in there. This is going to pull up any goodie off the bottom. It is going to make it hotter once the, this gets hot again. You don't want to pour it over top of your ketchup, but let it get up on there. Meaning don't wash it off, but let it marinate up on there. That's it, folks. Now the job is just to let it simmer right on down. And I'm telling you, we always serve out of Kittles, but this don't look bad if you want to do it for your family, even if you got company over, to just let that simmer on down. And uh, there's the peas, there's the meatloaf. Let that simmer right on down, and you will have some delicious meatloaf, and it'll be pretty in that skillet, even on your table because it is so good. Let's see what y'all are saying while that's finishing up. I live alone, so just cook enough for a meal or two except soup and dry. Now on this, uh, Anne, you could fix, I wouldn't quite fix that many for one, but you could use a half a pound of burger or a fourth of a pound. Or a fourth of a pound. Make you, make you four of them. Take two for tonight and put two in the freezer. And one night when you don't feel like cooking, but you like to have some good meatloaf, you can pull that around the freezer and have, eat it up. Mama went through a spell. She's not done in a while. But when Daddy was alive and we was cooking 
stuff he liked, and he would maybe just at six o'clock at night say, I like to have a meatloaf. And mama was cooking. Um, she was making a, a big amount of meatloaf and dividing it up in three sections, maybe three small loaves, and having it in the freezer and it was ready to go. It made it so simple for her to just pull that out and thaw it up and uh, put it in the microwave, thaw it up, and she could have a meal on the table in just a few minutes uh, before he changed his mind. Uh, and she would often do that with soups, uh, meatloaf. She would do it with um, chicken casseroles. He loved one chicken casserole she made, broccoli, broccoli casserole and chicken casserole. She was doing it in smaller amounts and freezing it, and she kind of liked it, didn't you, Mama? Yeah. But you quit doing it. She, she said the time we got five, me and her changed our minds what we was going to eat. Look at my ball cut. I've had that for years. I think I walked into the Family Dollar one time and they had these and I had to grab me two of them. Just because it was fall. La la, it's fall, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. It's delicious. I just wonder what happened to my life. Well, right there it is, Mama. I know, now. Can the sign have heart surgery? Pretty sure who that is. Lori Natalie, who is having surgery? Kim says, I don't know. Whoever it is, we're going to send prayers up for you. Well done and dry. No. Oh, Donna, now I don't use, Mama, we do, we do make the meatloaf well done. It's not medium. The hamburgers, if I know the meat, and especially if it's uh, farm-raised here or local, I don't care to do to do a little medium on a burger. But it's not best, and don't order them at no restaurant that say. Looks delicious, Karen. It is delicious. We're just letting it come up a little hotter. And you want to let that tomato juice kind of condense a little bit to thicken on there. But the ketchup will really help it. If you put your ketchup on first, spread it out like I did, and then don't just dump it on top, but just let it come up over it, it'll be fine, and it stays on there. And it, you got that thick ketchup, and you got that tomato sauce. Now, it's just a preference of Mama and I that we don't do the onions and the celery and the brown sugar. You can certainly do that here, the, the Creole, with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. It's, uh, it's good. It's real good. How's it coming, Mama? It's about there. It's about there, she said. We're about ready to eat. I missed the recipe. Amy, the recipe was quite simple. I'll go over it. That'll give us something to talk about for here a minute. What is pink pineapple? Uh, Rosa, it's just that. Now, this is a regular golden one. Uh, but it's just like this, and it's just pink inside. It's really good. Um, it seems to be a little bit more expensive, but when he also said it was $50 a piece before. 50 yeah, Mama's just passed I out. I have a heart attack. Somebody <laughs> fan her. <laughs> we didn't pay that, Mom. I hope not. There's some of it left in the refrigerator, and it's still good. Um, I ate some of the night with some cottage cheese, and it was delicious. Mammy and my granny. Uh, it's a little milder than the gold. It don't have that sharpness to it. Uh, I would buy another one. I mean, it wasn't like, it, it wasn't really, it's just $8 for some, the others are five. So, but it was good. Pink pineapple. I did have a video on it. I cut it up and showed y'all. So, go down below here until you find the pink pineapple. It was last Saturday, maybe. We had it. I love meatloaf. Terry, I do too about any way you fix it. We are having... I pulled up something there. We are having to take... But I had to work late. It's having to take out. Um, that's Pamela, great. that's fine. We do take out too. And once in a while, I bring home the KFC. Um, bring home pizza every once in a great blue moon. Hello from Missouri. Well, hello, Pamela. 
Uh, we love watching John and Mama in New Jersey. Well, Kimberly, we thank you. We've been to New Jersey. We like New Jersey. It's been a few years back, but we, we do love it. Uh, we went to New York, New Jersey. We've done all that good stuff. Um, love good meatloaf with mashed potatoes. That's what Mama. Mama. Most of Mama's meals starts out with mashed potatoes. And what can I put with it? And I don't know what she's been doing today. I'm not even going to ask her yet. I've not checked in with her. Um, but um, it's sometimes I call Mama and I'll say, what do you want to cook? And she says, I don't care. Whatever you want to cook. Other times she says, well, we've got this, this, and this. Which one you want? Tonight was one of those rare occasions. I said, what do you want to cook? I think we'll have meatloaf peas and mashed potatoes. I said, somebody's want mashed potatoes. She said, I think they are. I'll check and see. So uh, she knew exactly what she wanted tonight. Normally, it's me who wants meatloaf. But tonight, Mama was all over. Mama, what happened to you today? I wanted to use the meat. <laughs> Did you want the meatloaf? Yeah, we can have that. We talked about it. I wanted you, to use the meat. You thought there was potato mash over there? Or? Oh, yeah. I thought she was done that was done something. I wanted to use the meat before it went bad. That also encourages us to do some things. Uh, we buy stuff on the weekend because, you know, we don't, we don't go to the big store a lot. And then by... Tuesday or Wednesday, she's like, I got pork chops that needs to be used. How many of y'all got mamas, grandmamas, or daddies who does your cooking and says, I've got pork chops that needs to be used. That's a southern thing. We, uh, we use what needs to be used. Now, let me show you these handles. And I'm not trying to say te Tupperware tonight. I'm just showing you this right here. I love this handle. It's still cold. I mean, I'm talking about it's not hot. I'm talking about it's still cold to the touch. They make them that way, so you don't have to worry about in the skillets the same way. I like that. You see how hot it is, but it, it does stay good and cool. And the lids are the same way. I don't know how they do it. Don't ask me that. It just it just does it, and you don't have to worry about it. Um, I love it. I'm putting in about three tablespoons of butter in this big old pot of potatoes. Now, we want to eat all these potatoes. Uh, I'll probably have to updo them tomorrow. If I do updo them tomorrow, I may do a little something with them, add a little bit of onion or something and make them look, I, I did them one time where you just make the little bitty piles of them on a sheet pan and then you mash them down, let them get brown and they're crunk. Oh, they're so good. I do like that. And I don't know if mama's gonna be here tomorrow night or not. It is National Girls Night Out or Weekly Girls Night Out. And uh, she ain't said. It's just have they quit inviting you, Mama? Yeah, it's just for when our meeting is, if we have to attend. Uh, Mama's got a meeting tomorrow night, so she may not get to go. She does the meetings. She does the meetings. Now, these potatoes are mashing up really nice and velvety. I have that. Huh? You brought butter. I brought butter and took it back. Yeah, Mama. Oh, yeah. I seen it over here. Didn't think I tried. She's so used to snatching and grab. Don't try to snatch this potato masher out of my hand before I get through with it. The cream to go. She will. Now, y'all think I'm joking. Who was here the other night when I saw their cooking and you saw that hand come in from behind? And they went room four. They went room four, but she was over there and she was coming around me Look to wipe this thing. Oh, see how it boiled down and see how dark, see how that meat look, that meat look. See how that ketchup just hanging on the tops of them like it's fresh snow file? That's Those what you want. right there, leave them in our longer because they, they're done, but these other. You don't want us to have them? No. Okay. Sometimes mama don't want us to have stuff. She don't let you eat it. It's just for looks. These creamy mashed potatoes, I put cream. Uh, let me get y'all back over here. Come back around. Right These creamy mashed potatoes, I've added my cream now. I'm just going to kind of gently stir them. I'm not going to whip them. I don't want to release all the starch in them and make them tough or, or 
Well, gluey. I don't know what other word. That probably ain't a word for mashed potatoes. Gluey ain't, but it, it gets that way. Very starchy. So, yeah. So, see how they're pretty now? I'm going to add a little bit more cream. And you say, you just ruined them. Now, I'm going to make them a little soupier than what I want to eat them. Because they're going to firm right back up in about three seconds. So, oh, about three seconds. Now, you're cutting it fast. <laughs> okay, Mama, 3.5 seconds. You sounded like my brother. So those are too soupy to serve, but that's what I want. Because, and the reason I do that, it's not so much about tonight, uh, because you could eat them. You taking that away from me? Mm -hmm. um, but when you put them in the refrigerator overnight, tomorrow they'll still be good and mashable. They won't just be hard, clumpy lumps of potato. Let's move y'all up. Now look at here. Look at that. Meat love, mashed potatoes, butter peas. And see the potatoes instantly. They, they got, ain't instant potatoes. No Mama. <laughs> instantly they get good and firm to serve. And they will be time we get them dipped up here anyway. All right, Mom. You ready? Yeah. Everything we got coming to us? That's all we You got no deviled eggs in the refrigerator? No, no coleslaw. No coleslaw. No coleslaw. No nothing. Just, <laughs> just the basics tonight. <laughs> Let's bless this meal. Dearly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it, dear Lord. And we just ask you to bless it for the nourishment of our bodies, dear Lord. And dear, we just thank you for all the prayer requests that have gone out. Dear, we just ask you to be with each and every one of them. And Lord, we just uh, ask for all this unspoken request too. Dear Lord, we know you know every need, dear Lord. And dear, we talked with uh, Miss Pam and said, that said Joe was home. We thank you for answering that prayer, dear Lord. We thank you so much. And dear, we just ask you to. Uh, continue to be with us, watch over us, lead, guide, and direct us in the things you'd have us to do and the things you'd have us to say. And you're blessed in the name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, Mama. Now look at that good ice water. Now look at that ice water. It's got that, oh, that, that looks like a picture off TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want to show you this. I just want to prove a point. Oh. I just want, don't you move, don't you move. <laughs> I told her for I years. Didn't see <laughs> I told her for years. I said, "Mama, you always put the handle the farthest away." It's because not I'm standing here, and that's my right side. <laughs> and she said, "I do not." And I said, "Mama, <laughs> you have for my whole life. You always it's a <laughs> no. I don't." So we started filming. We started coffee time, and sure, she said, "Well, I do." Don't. <laughs> well, do you see how she jumped, Mama? Which one of these are we allowed not to eat? Over there, Can you eat this one? Yeah. All right. I ain't breaking no rules. No, I know. I know better. See, when I sit it on the table and I'm doing it, I'm sitting this way. I know, but for mind. years, I've always noticed. Mama will put the spoon, handle the fart, she'll put on that side. And I'm like, Mama, we can't reach that. <laughs> you all, I do not, she'll say, I do not. Now, Mama, these are green and it's a vegetable. Not many. <laughs> I'm going to give you 12 spoons. 12 peas, not 12 spoons. That's enough. <laughs> now, look at these mashed potatoes. These are to perfection, folks. Look at that big old, mmm. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's even enough. Okay. That's just like downtown. No, I don't care who you are. That's some good eats right there. That's some good eats. Don't y'all think? You didn't put pepper in my potatoes, did you? I didn't do anything, Mama. Salt, pepper, nothing. You you always do that. Did you do it? I had salt in them, but I ain't. Do you want pepper? Yeah, I want some pepper on my potatoes. Oh. Did I, should I put them in the pot? Yeah. Well, now, there we go. I didn't know. I didn't know what your orders were tonight. Just a little. They probably got enough. They probably do. 
I put one shake shake and I didn't use my pink Himalayan like I was supposed to. This is just table ground pepper. All right, here we go. We're going to test it out. I don't know y'all are too high. These are too low. Get down here, Williams. Well, get in your regular seat, folks. Um. Let's try this meatloaf and this mashed potatoes this pea combo. That's a good combo. That's a perfect combo right there. Mm -mm. Mama. What? Every time you cook, it just gets better and better. Well, I should be good by now, shouldn't I? Look inside that meatloaf. See how it's holding together? That's your bread and your eggs. That's your binders. That's that good meat. You know, it didn't hardly have any grease. See how that ketchup is just holding on there. What's wrong with the baby? She's got food. Mm. I'm already looking forward to a meatloaf sandwich for lunch tomorrow. Because I know those are delicious and I know we'll have plenty, plenty, plenty. And um, put two pieces of light bread. One of the meatloaf patties in there. Absolutely delicious. Let me ask you a question. When you heat, when you have meatloaf left over on a sandwich, do you heat the meatloaf or do you do it cold? I heat mine most of the time, meatloaf. Mama heats. I can, and if mama fixes this meatloaf left over the next day, we heat it. If I'm just doing a meatloaf sandwich, nine times out of a hundred, if it's just me, Doing it, I'll just get cold meatloaf put on the bread. What about you? To heat or not to heat? That is the question. I don't heat my chicken over. We don't like heated over chicken. Do y'all heat your chicken over? My favorite meatloaf. It is so good. If you like meatloaf and you you don't like, which this cannot seem like it took us a minute. But a loaf will take you around 15 minutes. That's the reason when we do a loaf, we do it in the micro pro grill for 25 minutes. Um, but um, if you're going to do a loaf, because it's so thick, you're going to do a, an hour and 15 minutes to get it warm to the center. I know. These, I made a little too thick. One thing. Oh, the patties? Yeah. I used it on hardly have on that too. I wasn't going to say nothing, Mama. I didn't know why they wouldn't come up to heat. And the onions. Somebody left some of the time. Oh, I re-cut I re them. Like one. I want the onions done in them. Somehow I knew it was going to be my fault. Oh, yeah. You think I'm going to take credit for it? <laughs> She bold. She don't care. I'm honest. <laughs> oh, you think I'm gonna take credit for it? I love it. Mm mm mm. But you don't like to cut onions. Mm mm. Oh, you do, good job. Cause I don't like to cut them. <laughs> When's the last time you cut an onion in this house, Mama? Mm. <laughs> That's what I thought. I don't remember. You had to be gone. What's wrong with your princess this thing? What have you done to her? Did she do something to you today, honey? No. She don't know what she wants. What's she looking for? I think she's wanting to get me in private and talk about you. She probably does. Have you done something to her today, Mama? No, I've been good to her today. Mm-hmm. Oh, she wanted to go right back out, and I wouldn't let her out one time. Mm, I know. Mm -hmm. I just let her in. It had been about 10 minutes. Yeah. And she wanted right back She out. probably heard a car and thought it was a UPS guy. Well, he did ring the doorbell and leave her a treat. And I let her out then. But then she wanted back out. I think she thought she'd be another treat. Once there's a treat delivered, 
She thinks every vehicle that comes down the road is the UPS guy coming back to bring her one more treat. Now, having said that, he don't have special treats. They're just little dog bones, and I even asked him what kind of is. And she's got a whole box in there on the mantle. Not she the will same. eat them at night, though. Oh, she'll eat them when I treat her at night or the morning. But you can't give her treats all day. Every time she went out, she'd be all the time. But his are special to her. And she just, she can't believe the thing is laying on the porch every time she goes out there. Because he rings the doorbell, puts the package in the rocking chair, and lays her a treat right in the middle of the rug on the porch. So she goes out, and every night, I don't know why just at night, but every night she goes out and she smells of that spot. Did he leave a treat? She's not made another treat. And then she goes out, does her thing. We'll walk around outside a while. And then she's like, come on, let's go. I get, get, I'm getting a treat when I get in there. <laughs> and like I'll be watering flowers or something like that. Just a minute. And she'll stand on that porch like a spoiled teenager and holler at me the whole time. And mom will come to the door. Because she's barking and, and keeping the whole neighborhood going. And Mama will come and say, what are you barking for? And she'll sit there and look at me and bark. Want me to come out and give her her treat. And if Mama gives her a treat at that very time, if I come in five minutes later, she's looking for another treat. Because you've not given me one. You have to be careful with it. She ain't spoiled, though. We don't know what it is exactly. We've not better put her finger on it. But we're not calling it spoiled yet. Yeah, she's <laughs> spoiled. <laughs> Well, she is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks, that's all we're doing tonight. We're having meat, love, mashed potatoes, and peas. Y'all find you something good to eat. Make, uh -oh. make you some memories. We're about out of bed. Make you some memories and have a good time. Enjoy the rest of this fall afternoon. Oh, I can officially yeah. say fall. And uh, Thursday night, tomorrow night, maybe you can plan on having a fire pit. It's fall. Tis the season. Mama, are you going to put up some new flags and stuff? Well, today just hit it, Paul, so I'll... Normally, I've got a to-do list of flags to change. She don't put wreaths on until after snakes go to sleep. So, he'll be a board or I something. Found, I found out Copperheads have their babies September and October, and I thought it was safe to start putting stuff out. Now, I found out they have their little babies then. Well, it'll be a board or something on there. A file board that says happy file y'all or something like that no wreaths mama don't do wreaths on the front door since that she thinks it's a copperhead i'll make it one since it was it. crawled up in there to see what she's up to he's a fat little thing well what happens you put a wreath out then the birds build a nest and the snakes can hear the birds and when there's a where there's a bird's nest I want the eggs. There could be a snake. I'm just telling y'all. I'm telling you like a friend. If, if you got bird nests on your porch and they're so cute and cuddly and you want to hear them chirp, 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 be careful. The snakes are listening too. Black snakes and other snakes will crawl up in your flower pots and get you birds. We have that may be a harsh reality for some of y'all, but it's the truth. If they build on your front porch door, that's where they'll crawl to. We had, what, what did I say, four eggs, and then it was a hanging basket. We took it out and put mm -hmm. it on the table at my patio. Mm -hmm. And then the little bird showed and up. And then they, she laid four more eggs. Yeah, I don't know. I've never had that happen before. I've moved nests before. If you don't touch them, they're okay as long as you... We, just know, we don't move them far. Pot. Just a flower pot. No, we just set it closed. She can recognize. We've done it before. And, but this time she started all over with four more eggs. <laughs> yeah. And and used them all. And they, I don't know if the second batch hatched or not, to be honest with you. Because the first batch hatched, and they were there, and I didn't mess with them no more. So I don't know if she allowed that second clutch to hatch or not. But, but I, the eggs was gone. So I and I heard them chirping and carrying on, and they flew away. I mean, but the other time. four eggs something got the eggs if they didn't hatch out. We don't know what happened to them. They may have all hatched. I don't know. 
Our folks, we've, we've taken a rabbit trail, but we're going to get back to focus. <laughs> and we've done one Southern goodbye. We're going to do one more, and I'm going to say, say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you and so Have a wonderful night tonight and day tomorrow. Just think, fall is here. Y'all have a blessed one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.